Season 2 may have brought many drastic changes to Space 1999, but one thing that never changed was the fact that the Eagles were just as vulnerable as they had always been. Whee! Continuing our look at Space 1999 Eagle crashes and losses, we'll be following the same format as we did in the previous video. Oh sure, that sounds like a great idea. Crashes records the number of Eagles crashed, and Lost records the number of Eagles destroyed or left behind. Ten, a hundred... 10,000 and so on. To keep things simple, we'll begin a new tally for the disasters of the second season, and add it to the tally from the first season at the end of this video. Come and join us, come and join us. Eagle One, piloted by Bill Fraser and Ray Torrens, is dragged down to the surface of the planet Psychon by Mentor and his biological computer, Psyche. We later see Eagle One on the surface, and although it looks intact, Mentor had told Koenig, Our pilots are safe enough. They're evil. Beyond but as with many other things, Mentor could have been lying when he said that, so we're not prepared to count this one as a crash as such. Regardless, Eagle One, along with the body of Ray Torrens, is destroyed when it's left behind on Psychon at the end of the episode. Mentor also destroys two more eagles during the course of the episode. The robot eagle sent to destroy Psychon... ...and another eagle that uniquely is seen taking off from a launch pad that's apparently out of action. The Alphans are visited by an alien being named Magus, who would have them believe he is God. One thing that does seem to have impressed you in the past is force. To prove his power, he destroys an eagle on its launch pad. Hope no one was in there. In another impressive first for eagle crashes, the delirious Maya manages to crash an eagle that's already on the ground. Obsessed with getting back to Psychon, she breaks into the Eagle hangar and gets aboard Eagle 4, firing its forward thrusters and tipping the craft onto its back. Can't we stop it? No, we have no control over it now. Where it skids through the hangar in a glorious mess of fire and explosions. No doubt other eagles were damaged by this incident, although this monumental disaster is brushed off fairly lightly in favour of making sure that Maya's alright. While under the hypnotic influence of the plasma aliens, Commander Koenig crashes Eagle 10 at the nuclear waste dumps. He's too low. He'll hit one of the domes. Presumably replacements for the dumps that were destroyed in Breakaway, or a different dump that they never mentioned until now. Eagle 10 certainly doesn't look to be in great shape after the crash, but the only real mention we get of its post-crash status comes from Dr. Ben Vincent. Eagle 10. Totaled. However, since the wreck looks largely intact, we can't really count this one as a complete loss. Although it is certainly odd that, following the crash, fires continue burning inside the Eagle long after the door has been opened to space. Eagle One, with Koenig and Meyer at the controls, crashes on Tora after Sanderson and his crew sabotage Alpha's computers. Engines and guidance systems intact. Intact? Um. Could you pull them out of there on the remote control? We'll give it a try. Miraculously, not only is the ship still able to fly after the crash, despite bits literally falling off it... We have liftoff! It's still spaceworthy enough to be safely returned to Alpha. Eagle One, with Commander Koenig and Medic Blake Main at the controls, crashes in a forest on Entra, moon of the planet Elna.
Despite Koenig's concerns that the ship might explode, Come on, let's get out of here. This thing's not gonna blow. probably born from the multiple Eagle crashes he's been part of over the years, Fraser and Alib later inspect the wreck and discover it largely intact. The pilot section isn't totaled. However, no attempt is made by the Alphans to recover Eagle One, so this one counts as both a crash and a loss, although the engines themselves may possibly have been able to make some use of it. Eagles 1 and 4 are assigned to the survey team examining an idyllic new planet that soon becomes hostile to both the Alphans and their technology. Let's get him back to Alpha. Koenig and Carter team up for one last Eagle crash, appropriately enough their most epic yet, when they attempt to return an injured Tony Badeshi to Alpha. Hiya, we're having trouble with the survey Eagle. Malfunctions. Can you correct? We'll try, but if negative we'll head back to base camp and switch to Eagle 1. Unfortunately, the sudden appearance of corrosive elements in the planet's atmosphere leads to the eagle falling out of the sky and into another spectacular forest crash landing. John, he's going down! admit it wasn't one of my best. And as for Eagle One... You can forget Eagle One. It'll fall apart if we try to use it. All the metals are corroded. Eagle Three, with Bill Fraser at the controls, is also affected by the corrosion when it enters the planet's upper atmosphere. Malfunction. But thankfully the effect is negated soon after this, and the craft suffers no further damage. Bill, lead the way. Fraser is then able to rescue all the surviving Alphans and get them safely home, but the wrecks of Eagles 1 and 4 are left behind on the planet. <laughs> oh, great. 4 is once again an unlucky number for an Eagle, as during an attack on the Dorkon battlecruiser, Eagle 4 becomes the final Eagle to be destroyed in Space 1999. John! We've just lost Eagle 4. However, in another first, we don't even get to meet the pilot of this doomed eagle, as Alan simply tells us after the battle which poor nobody was at the controls. One ship, one pilot lost. Thompson Eagle 4. That brings us to the end of Year 2, but we do also have one more honorary eagle crash to mention from a later Space 1999 production, the 1979 movie Alien Attack, which was a compilation of Breakaway and War Games. No, we're not going through all the compilations to count up all the crashes and losses in those, since we'd just be retreading the same ground again. Our facilities here are already overworked. However, Alien Attack included several specially shot additional scenes featuring Patrick Allen in charge of the turtleneck-wearing members of the International Lunar Commission back on Earth. Nobody there crashed an eagle. I'm surprised. You shouldn't be. But at the very start of the film, they are seen monitoring an eagle training flight of Metaprobe astronauts Warren and Sparkman. They're passing navigation beacon delta. Yes. Which subsequently crashes, putting them into intensive care where we see them in the episode. There's trouble. This crash is pieced together from various sections of Breakaway and War Games, with much of the footage flopped around to disguise its origins. It's out of control. Contact Moonbase. It's too late. It's too late. They've crashed. While we're not counting this crash in the official tally, since Alien Attack's place in the wider Space 1999 continuity can only ever really be nebulous at best, it is still worth noting as the earliest chronological eagle crash we get to see. A conclusion both unanimous and obvious. That brings us to the end of the series, giving us a tally for this season of... Adding the Year 1 tally to the Year 2 tally, Come on! We now get a final tally of eagles crashed and lost throughout the entire series, which looks like this. What a waste. Total waste.
But now it's time to name and shame those Alphans responsible for all these disasters. Well, that could be either good or bad. Ignoring any one-off guest characters, since very often their experiences in Eagles were fatal anyway, and just focusing on the regulars, then the following six Alphans have very good reason to feel ashamed. All right, everybody, this is it. In joint fourth place are Paul Morrow, Bob Mathias, and Bill Fraser. Morrow and Mathias each have one crash on their record as a co-pilot, and Fraser has one loss as a pilot. In third place, Maya was involved in two crashes, one as a pilot and one as a co-pilot. It's all my fault. Alan Carter takes second place, with one Lost Eagle and four Crashed Eagles to his name, three as a pilot and one as co-pilot to the man who easily takes the number one slot. We're talking about John Koenig! Commander John Koenig has seven Eagle crashes on his record, six as a pilot and one as a co-pilot. I walked away from there, there was no damage. Additionally, two of the Eagles he flew, one as a pilot and one as a co-pilot, had to be left behind on alien planets. I'm sorry. So let's hear it for Commander Koenig. We asked for his thoughts on this historic achievement, and how it feels to be the man responsible for permanently grounding so many eagles. No eagle is grounded until I say so! Well, that's us told then. Surprisingly, and despite his best efforts, Tony Verdeshi has never once crashed an eagle. Oh, very funny.